Hey guys, what is going on? Bogdan here from Dracula Airsoft. Today I want to talk to you about gun camo and how to make your gun invisible in the wood. Now here I've got my old VSR-10 Tokyo Marui. Painted this gun myself and um, it was quite a difficult process but it did turn out quite good. I've done this in 2017 so quite a while ago. The paint has held up very very well surprisingly. And now it's time for my new sniper rifle which is the SSG-10. To get the same treatment because um, it's okay wearing a ghillie suit and everything and then having a black painted gun in the woods and then everybody can see it so for the base of the gun i've decided not to paint this one just in case you know i might want it back to its original state in the future so instead i'm gonna use some tape camouflage tape now the first tape that i've bought was um the gorilla camo tape i think it's called this is how it looks like honestly is it's absolutely not what is described on the website. I've got this from Amazon. Let's have a look. It's not good. This is more like a urban environment sort of colors. I don't even know. And then I found this. This is a Jack Pike camo tape. The link will be in the description below. And it has a nice matte finish to it. It's sort of like a material which will be probably very good as it won't reflect any light. As this is, this is not good at all. So let's get this wrapped up and then we'll go to the next step. So that's about it. I think I've used less than uh, less than half of this tape. Just have a look at this, just to compare. Yeah, it's definitely less than half. Yeah, I'm happy with it overall. I mean, this this is almost good enough. But what we're gonna do now, we're gonna use a leaf system. So we break the pattern a bit. So let's get to the next step. Right, so these are the, the materials that we will use next. I've got three different color of fake cotton leaves right here. I have the Kiki Mustang leaves. They come in one meter strips. Uh, raffia and camo mesh. Now I have already done the barrel side of it. I just want to show you how to start. So this camo mesh you will cut to go above a certain part of your rifle. For example, this will be used for the middle side and the scope. I put a zip tie around my scope cam so it sits in place. I will probably trim this down. And then what you do on top of it, with zip ties, we will install all sorts of leaves. Different colors, we will install the fake leaves and some raffia. And just to give you an idea, it will end up looking something like this. This is the barrel, uh, barrel side. Just let, let me put this on. I think it looks very good. For the front here, I will use um, an elastic just to keep it in place once it's all, all crafted. I left some bits open here and there just because summer is coming now. So I want to add some green uh, leaves, green foliage or whatever. Let's craft the top bit. First thing we do, we think of a pattern. So for example, put one leaf everywhere and see how it looks like. Mix and match the colors just so you get sort of an image in your head of what you want this to end up like. Then we take the zip ties and we create loops with them. Okay, now all the zip ties are in place. Let's start putting the cotton leaves. What I like to do with them is pinch them like that, put them through the loop, tighten it up, and then open them like that. You can also fold them in half, put them through the loop halfway, tighten it up, and then just open them from each side. Okay, I think that will do. And now let's add some 3D leaves. I'm gonna do the same with them. I'm gonna get them all together like that, pinch them, and put them through a loop. Let's start from this corner. Tighten it up, cut it off, then come to the next one. You want to leave just enough room in between them and then start folding from the other side. Okay, more or less done. Now, with the raffia, we will do the same. So I will take it like that, through a loop, tighten it up, cut it down, try to open it a bit. And one more, we do have other colors as well. Maybe let's try a bit of this green one. All right, done. Now let's see how it looks on the gun. Alright guys, so this is it. To be honest, it turned out better than I expected. There are a few things I'm still going to do. For example, clip this here somewhere maybe. 
just so it stays out of the way when I'm reloading. Add some greens to it, maybe do something to the stock. I'm not really sure because this is mostly covered by my ghillie so when I when I have it. Make sure nothing is in the way of the scope. And yeah, that's about it. Remember, subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and I'll see you next time.